Okay, today we're going to talk about microscopy, and I'm just going to give you a brief introduction to microscopy because we will be doing a lot of microscopy in the lab, and for many of you, this will be a relatively new uh, laboratory procedure, and it may be the source of significant frustration. So I'd like to try to just give you a little tutorial so that maybe we can cut down on some of that initial frustration. First things first, this is the, lab, uh, the microscope. This is a compound bright field microscope. Uh, compound microscope, remember, refers to the fact that there are more than one lens. And these particular microscopes are fairly heavy duty microscopes. They have a uh, illuminator down here, a light, that we can control the uh, intensity with a dial that's right over here. Well, there is a condenser. There is a mechanical stage, and the mechanical stage can move uh, north and south with the top knob and east and west uh, with the uh, knob below it. And when you're moving your slide around, you want to make sure that you're using these knobs, not pushing or pulling on the stage because that can strip the gears. Okay? And I speak from experience when I say that mechanical stages are a wonderful invention because when I took this class, there was no mechanical stage. So it was, it was horrible. If you wanted to move the slide, you had to kind of nudge it with your pinky finger, and then if you nudged it too far, well, you were in trouble. So when you get your microscope, you're going to place it down on the bench, uh, take out the cord, and we're going to go ahead and plug it in. Okay. And then there is an on-off switch back here. Okay. Once you turn it on, see that you have light. The light is coming through here, through the condenser. condenser. And what I like to do is just have a look once over the microscope, just look over the microscope, see if there's any uh, any oil that may have gotten on the microscope from the previous user, just to make sure that it's in a good working condition. Then what I usually do is I usually go ahead and give the eyepieces a little uh, dusting. Same thing with the condenser and also the illuminator. Just, and when you're handling the condenser, please be very, very gentle and circular motion. Now, now you're ready to essentially start viewing uh, your organism. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at a slide that I made earlier. And the first thing I do when I am observing microorganisms is I take my smear and I hold it up to the light. And the reason why I do this is to try to see if I can see anything just with my naked eye. And sometimes you can see a little shadowy things or a little film. And this will give you an idea of what to aim for. Okay. So I can see something uh, on my slide uh, pretty, pretty easily. And so I know for sure that something is on there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put the slide in the slide clip. Okay? This little lever here is designed to hold the slide snug so that you can then maneuver the slide using the stage controls. I've lowered the stage already all the way down before I inserted the slide. And what this does is it minimizes the chance that you can smack an ocular lens with a slide and scratch one. Okay. Once I've done that, I then like to take my stage and I like to use the course focus, which is the outside knob here. And I like to go ahead and crank the stage all the way up. Okay. Now there's a reason for this. And the reason is that when I'm looking through the microscope to try to find the specimen, uh, there's only one way to go, okay, and that's down, okay? If you just throw the slide on there and you have no idea where the stage is, you're going to be cranking up and down and up and down, and it, it can get very frustrating. So I've got my slide on there. I'm going to maneuver my slide to where I saw that film when I looked at it through uh, at, in the light, and I'm going to lower the light because I can tell what just by sort of briefly looking through the ocular lens that the light is very intense. So I'm just going to lower the intensity of the light because I don't want to be seeing stars when I look through the microscope. Then I'm going to spread the ocular lenses a little bit so that I can use both eyes when I look through the microscope. I'm going to look through the microscope. I'm just going to take the course focus and I'm going to crank the stage down slowly and I'm going to wait to see if I see anything when it's focused. Okay. And it 
doesn't take very long, I can see something come into focus very easily. I'm using a scanning lens, which if you look at the ocular lenses, you can notice that it's actually the shortest lens with the uh, largest working distance. So the working distance is the distance between the ocular lens and the specimen, so it's pretty far. As the lens get higher in magnification, they get longer and the working distance gets shorter. Modern microscopes are parafocal, so what that means is that the specimen stays in relative focus when I move from one lens to the next. And that's important because that means I don't have to start all over. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to look at my specimen. At 4x, I can't really see much, but like some little dots. Okay, That doesn't tell me anything. So I'm going to look at 10x now. I swung the 10x lens into place, and I'm just going to look briefly through the ocular lens, and I'm going to adjust the focus with the fine focus, the small knob here, as best I can until I see the specimen come into relative focus. Now in 10x, because I'm looking at a bacterium, I still can't see much of anything. Okay, bacteria are very, very small. But I can see that something is there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look through the ocular lens, and I'm going to find an interesting uh, spot on the slide, and I'm going to position it into the center of the field of view. And the field of view is what you see when you look through the ocular lens. The reason I'm going to do this is because as I zoom in, okay, as I magnify the specimen more and more, the field of view gets smaller. Okay? So if I'm originally looking at something that's way over here in the corner, and I zoom in, it's no longer going to be in the field of view. So by putting it in the center, I'm ensuring that when I go up in magnification, it will stay relatively in the center, and I'll be able to see it. So, Typically, what I would suggest in this situation is to find something that's relatively dark. Okay, that's a good um, starting point. So I've got something, it looks relatively dark. It's in the center, it's in focus. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply oil. This is microbiology class. In other classes, you may have used the high dry lens, which is the 40x lens. Here in microbiology, because we're looking mainly at bacteria, and the average size of a bacterium is about 2 micrometers in diameter, you really need oil. You really need maximum magnification, which in these microscopes is a thousand x. So what I'm going to do is I've got everything focused. I've got everything centered. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing the 10x lens out of the way. Okay, And that is going to allow me to place a drop of the oil right onto the slide, okay? So I'm going to open my oil, I'm going to scrape off the excess oil from the applicator tip, and I'm simply going to touch the applicator tip to the surface of the slide, and that's going to transfer oil to the surface of the slide. Now, where do you aim? You aim where the light is, okay? That's where the slide, that's where the lens is going to be. Then, once you've got the oil on, you can swing the oil immersion lens into the oil. Okay? It's called the oil immersion lens because it needs to be in the oil. Okay? It needs to be immersed in the oil for proper function. Once I have the organism, or once I have the lens in the oil, now I can look through the ocular lens. And when I look through here, I can see something, but it's a little fuzzy. Since I am at 100x, I no longer can use the coarse focus. The only focus knob I'm going to use is the fine focus. Another thing that I notice when I look into the microscope is that the light is very dim. So I would like to increase the intensity of the light. Okay, that will help me, especially when I'm looking at gram-negative organisms, to better see them. So now I'm looking in, I've increased the intensity of light, and I'm simply going to use the fine focus knob to adjust the focus on the organism. Now, when you're, when you're doing this, you want to go slow, okay? You may have to crank a little bit away from you with the fine focus. If it doesn't come into focus by going that way, then I would start turning the knob slowly in the other direction. 
okay? You don't want to just crank, okay, super fast because these organisms have, they come in and out of focus very quickly. And so if you are cranking really fast, you may miss it, okay? So you want to go very slowly. So now I have my organism, it's in focus, and now I can determine whether or not this organism is gram-negative, gram-positive, the shape, and the arrangement. Okay, once we've found our organism and we've made all of the necessary uh, observations and we're finished using our microscope, the next thing we're going to do is clean the microscope uh, so we can put it away. First thing you're going to want to do is to remove the slide. Go ahead and swing the oil lens out of place, okay, and lower the stage. So we're going to lower the stage using the course focus knob. Once we get to the bottom, we're going to go ahead and remove the slide by moving the slide clip over, taking the slide off. Now, if you want to keep this slide, you certainly can, but you're going to want to remove the oil. And you can remove the oil using a little bit of lens paper and just ta uh, tapping the oil. Don't smear because you'll smear the organisms right off. You'll wipe them. Okay. Now, we've got the uh, slide off. We're going to go ahead and turn down the light. Okay. We're going to turn off the microscope. Okay. And we're going to remove the oil from the oil lens by taking a fresh piece of lens paper and in a circular motion, just removing the oil. If you get oil off, go ahead and fold the lens paper over and wipe again, okay? And now there's nothing left, so we know we've got all the oil off. If you are wearing mascara, okay? One thing that microscopes do not like is mascara, okay? So you're going to want to wipe the ocular lenses off with a fresh sheet of lens paper and what this will do is remove any mascara that may have transferred from your eyelashes to the ocular lenses during view. Okay. The reason why we want to go ahead and do this is because the mascara, as I'm sure you probably know, is a little sticky and it can stick onto the surface of these ocular lenses and you become all goopy and it can become difficult uh, to view. When you're done, We've wiped all the lenses, we're good. If you accidentally dripped oil somewhere else, again, you're gonna wanna wipe that off with a little bit of lens paper. Go ahead and unplug the microscope, wrap the cord up, and they have these nice little slots here for the cord, so go ahead and put the cord back. And then you're ready to carry your microscope over to the cabinet. Make sure you carry it with two hands one hand underneath the base of the microscope and one hand on the arm. And again, it's going to go into the cubby hole with the ocular lenses facing out in the properly numbered slot. Thank you.